welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about how to create a study plan and what to do when you feel really overwhelmed, like you've got so much work and you feel like everything's important and you just need to kind of prioritize things and make a study plan and get things done. And this is in response to a couple of comments I got on my latest video. There were three comments from the same person and the first two were kind of asking me to make a video on how how to make a study plan and what to do when you feel really overwhelmed with work and like everything's important. And then the third comment was asking what to do when you feel like you have too many resources and like so many textbooks and stuff and you just have an overload of information and you feel like you're kind of wasting time because you've got so many different resources to use. So I'm going to make a separate video regarding the third comment but this video is all about making study plans and prioritizing and what to do when you're feeling really overwhelmed with all your work. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is how I make my study plans. So I have talked about this in a couple of videos before, but I will just go through it briefly again. Um, so what I do is I get an Excel spreadsheet um, and I just write the days of the week along the top and the times of the day down the side in 15 minute increments. So you're going to have quite a lot of times because I go all the way from kind of 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. So there's a lot of times downside because they do go down in 15 minute increments. But I find it's best to do it in 15 minute lots because then you're able to kind of utilize every minute of your day. So once you've got that basic outline, then I go through and fill in all of the things that I know are fixed in place during the week. So I'll block out school, I'll block out running training, if you have any music lessons, other extracurricular activities, block them all out on your week and just block them out in a certain color. And then once you've blocked all of them out, you can kind of see how much time you have left. And now you need to think about ideally how much time you'd like to be spending on your work each day and how much time you want to be spending on each subject each day. So for me, for example, I want to try and do two and a half to three hours of work each day and that would be half an hour of work on each of my five subjects and then another half an hour if I feel like I need it in a certain subject. So that's kind of the basic outline. Obviously each day is different and I'll do different amounts of work on each subject each day depending on what's going on at the moment at school. But that's like you just want to get a basic basic idea. And then you go back to your Excel spreadsheet and each day you fill in like blocks of work that will add up to the amount of work you want to get done. So for example, I normally have a block of work in the morning for an hour from eight until nine, because um, my school starts just before nine. So I work from eight until just before nine. So that's about an hour. And then it depends on the day, but after school, I might come home and then have half an hour before I go to running training and then come home from running training, have dinner, and then I do another hour and a half or an hour after dinner. And so I'll have those three blocks of time blocked out on my day. And those are the blocks that I'm going to be working because I've said I want to do two and a half to three hours work. So I've blocked out two and a half to three hours work on my day. And by using a combination of studying in the morning and studying at night, I'm able to fit my work in more easily around my extracurriculars. So the next thing to do is make a color code for each subject. And then at the start of every week, go through and fill in. So the blocks of time that you've set out each day to study, fill in specifically where in those blocks you'll be doing that subject with that subject's color. So if in the morning I'm going to be doing half an hour on economics and half an hour on English, I will put um, two 15 minute slots in, in green for economics and then two 15 minute slots in, in blue for English. And then during the week, when you get to one of those blocks of time that you're working, so that block of time there in the morning, for example, I would then write a to-do list of exactly what I want to get done in that block of time. So I might have on my to-do list, read economics chapter 15, and then answer multiple choice questions, and then do a practice data interpretation. And then for English, I might have, um, <laughs> I'm not really sure because I never study for English, but, um, um, 
do some practice writing or something. I'll put something on my to-do list and make sure it's a realistic to-do list. Don't put so many things on that you know you're never going to get done in that time. Make it fairly realistic and then just work through those um, things on the to-do list during that block of time that you're working for. And by having a to-do list, it keeps you accountable and it also makes you feel like you're getting more things done because you're ticking them off. So it makes you feel like you're achieving something. In terms of feeling unorganized, I often feel unorganized when I don't have a plan and my room's a mess and everything's a mess and untidy and I can't find anything and then my brain just gets messy when my space is messy. So if you're feeling really unorganized, what I would do is if you can set aside a bit of time to just tidy your room and organize all your papers for school, organize all your work, into where it's meant to be and then go to your study plan and make a block of study and write a to-do list and once you have a clear space and all your work is organized and you can find everything more easily and you have a like concrete plan of action to-do list in place then I feel like everything feels much more manageable and like you can just then go through the steps to get things done. I normally feel so overwhelmed with work when everything is unorganized and I can't find things, which happens quite a lot. I'm not the most organized person, but it's really important if you can to try and keep all of your schoolwork organized at least, um, because it stresses me out so much when I can't find things that I need for school and that's what makes me feel really overwhelmed with everything. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe try to just organize all of your schoolwork, make sure you can find everything, tidy your desk, make a to-do list, and then that might put you in a bit of a better frame of mind. And the second comment by this person was, they said, I just feel like everything is important. And I can definitely relate to that because sometimes it does feel like everything is important and sometimes everything is important. But what I do, um, there's a couple of things I do. Often the way I prioritize things is to look at how much of my final mark they're worth. So for example, if I need to study for a chem test and a methods test that I have tomorrow, I'll look at how much of my final mark they're worth they're worth and then that say the chem test is worth 2% and the methods test is worth 7%, I'm going to prioritize studying methods more and I'm going to spend more time studying methods because it's worth more at the end of the year. I also like to use the idea of the 80-20 rule. So if you haven't heard of that, it's basically where 20% of your time produces 80% of the results and then the 80% of your time only produces 20% of the results. So basically a little bit of the time that you spend on something is going to produce the majority of the result and then the majority of the rest of the time that you spend on it is only going to produce a little bit of the result. So the way that I use that is once I've got the bulk of the work done for something I just stop. Try not to be a perfectionist. It's often better to finish something imperfectly than to spend ages and ages perfecting every single little detail because that's really only going to make that small difference at the end but you're putting so much time into making that small difference it's much better to put a little bit of time to just get most of the thing done and then be satisfied with that. Now obviously this is a case by case basis. It depends on what task you're doing. Maybe it is something that really needs to be perfect. But with most things, just think, is it worth spending so much of your time perfecting every last detail or would it be better to just spend half an hour on a task and get most of it done and yeah, just weigh it up like that because I think that 80-20 rule, it makes a lot of sense to me. I can definitely see how a small amount of your time produces most of the results. So try and try and utilize that where you can. And at the end of the day, yes, in year 12, it does sometimes feel like everything is important, but really, I don't know, sometimes you just have to put things in perspective and think how important is school really. As long as you're working hard and you're putting in the effort, you're going to get to the end of the year and you're po probably going to get a good result that's going to get you where you need to go. And if it doesn't get you where you need to go, then there's always another way to get there. There is 
always another way to get where you want to be. Sometimes it can take a bit longer, but if you really want to be a doctor, for example, and you don't get the mark for medicine, there is always a way to get in if you want to do it. Like, you will always find a way to do things that you want to do. So just keep working hard at school, keep trying your best, but don't place too much emphasis on school. Make sure to live your life outside of school as well because that's kind of the approach I've been taking this year. I'm trying to make sure I've got a really good balance of living my life and also working because when I look back on this year, in 50 years time, I think I'm going to be happy that I did go out with my friends and I did keep up my running training and I did go out and do things and I didn't spend all my time locked in my room studying. Because as important as year 12 feels at the time, it's just one aspect of your life. Like school is just one aspect of your life. Year 12 does not need to take up your whole life. School is there like it's one aspect and then you've got family you've got friends you've got sport you've got music you've got arts you've got whatever you're into you've got so many other parts of your life don't let this little school aspect just take over everything else so that's all of the advice i have for this video i really hope it's helped you um yeah just try and keep everything in perspective work hard and you will get where you want to be um yeah so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. To the lovely person who made those comments, I really hope this video has helped you out and given you some advice. And to everyone who's watched this video, I hope it has helped you. And I will be making a video on the third comment about like what to do when you have way too many textbooks and stuff and you feel overwhelmed with all the information. I'll be making a video about that very soon. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and comment down below anything you like. Video suggestions are always appreciated. And I would love it if you could consider subscribing to my channel. I make heaps of study and revision style videos, lots of study tips, revision advice, study with me's, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that, I would love it if you check out my channel and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.